Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, I have got my saw out here, my tile saw, my wet tile saw. Um, I haven't used it in a while. I actually did tiling into my bathroom and at the back door, and I've got one other place is in the front door. So I haven't been able to get through it this summer, so I'm trying to catch up on some projects here. And what these bricks are is for the fireplace. So I've been up since 2.30 a.m. I woke up and uh, the stallers were here yesterday for the wood stove. I decided to hire some stallers to do the wood stove. They were gonna put the chimney in. There was an attic yesterday, so the attic and then, um, and there was supposed to be here today for the chimney. But last night at 2.30 a.m. I looked at the wood stove and I said, you know, something's wrong. So it wasn't with anything with the stallers. It had to do with the company. They had sent the wrong piece that's supposed to go up under the uh, box, ceiling box. And then there's another piece that connects into an 18 inch double wall black stove pipe. So I've been up since 2.30 a.m. And today while they were supposed to be, uh, since I'm waiting on that order to come, come in for the right part, uh, they was gonna be installing a chimney. And today I was going to be cutting some fire bricks for that wood stove. Uh, this is a discontinued uh, stove. So when I looked up how much these fire bricks or if I could even find the fire bricks, they were $35 a piece. So I went out to uh, Tractor Supply and got some bricks at $3.99, $4. So, uh, and decided that I will get my saw out, my wet tile saw, and try to cut these tiles um, cut from these tiles, cut these fire bricks and uh, for this wood stove. So actually, um, I only need um, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. But if you consider, uh, you know, thirty-five dollars times six, and then you got to pay for the tax and then the shipping. This is this is a a good way to do this. So let me get started, and uh, let's cut some fire brick. <laughs> This is a lesson. Don't forget to take the brick out. So I take everything as a learning process. It's nothing as a failure. It is a learning process.
lined up here. Don't want to get my fingers too close to that. that will work. So what I did is I just went ahead and got my measurements and I drew my line. And even though, um, because with this top on here, it's kind of hard to see really that blade and you got to be very careful with safety. You don't want to cut your fingers off. But when I have this up, it sprays all the water out. And it's, that's the only thing I don't like about this. Um, got any tips about that? Please share that with me. That would be great. But it does spit water out. But it's 80, almost 85 degrees out here today. <laughs> you know, last week it was a, it's really cold. It's going to get down to 62 tonight. But anyways, brick one. That's great. I'm excited about that. Very excited. Lots of money saved. I am excited. What am I going to do? because you know when you're dealing with stone or anything it can it can it can adapt to do anything so you got to be very careful with this blade well this one's actually came out better than the other one but it really doesn't matter because this part doesn't have to be perfect the main thing is getting this measurement right here brick two so this one this one's going to be a little bit more trickier because i've got a i just want to need that little corner cut off right there now y'all This is cut through. I just got to get the other side. So 
some reason. So it's good. This is where you want to be very careful because, you know, this blade can, it can start grabbing the stone, it can grab your hand. So just be very careful if you decide to do something like this. Make sure you wear these. These are safety glasses. This piece back here uh, just got in the way. This one cut really straight. So on this part right here, it's not these have to be perfect. Um, you're dealing with brick. So um, the thing of it is, is that if you're cutting really any kind of stone, you, you want the, the blade to cut the stone. You don't want to be pushing too hard because you want it to kind of guide it in there. But at the same time, you know, safety is first and guide it in there and uh, be sure like i said have these on because dealing with stone these little pieces could kick out and uh, they do kick out and so y'all i have got my stones for my fireplace saved me a lot of money i got one two three four five six so you know say 30 bucks with tax um i got all my stones fireplace stones or fireplace bricks for, uh, for my wood stove and I'm so excited. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything, um, this saves you a lot of money because some of these points, some point in time you have to replace these. Now the fire bricks is in there, probably go for a while, but I'm not even gonna mess with them. Just gonna save those, put those up uh, and then start out with new fire bricks. All right, guys, love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for su subscribing. I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up. Please like, please share. And remember one thing, well, two things. Make it a great day and God bless you.